Mm. So what you know? Me know I say it's a long time since we posted the last video there and I think I'm going to listen where we are changing this pad. So yo, I jump on pan this thing and by the way, happy new year to everybody. So I jump on pan this thing you now because you know say since the release of the Galaxy Tab S8 lineup, you know them decide to bring Luma Fusion to the tablet, the Tab series. You understand that? So, me decide to say no because I don't upgrade to the Tab S8 yet because I can't get the LTE version and I will not upgrade to the Wi Fi Bluetooth version. No, with Samsung, you need to put out some more at the LTE version. All right, so with that said, we want to know now if the Luma Fusion video editing app work with the tab s6 so this is the tab galaxy tab s6 never try to never test it out with all right bear in mind say me not watch no video on it me not do no review nor nothing me just hear the news say the luma fusion come to the android devices and me decide say me have a see what I want. so you know we have a flicker glitches here and there i learn everybody i learn Alright, so the first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump in at the Samsung store. And I'm going to look for this thing here. Let me see if I can move this here. So. Alright. So I'm going to type in now. Loma Fusion, we'll see it here. Alright. See? Very expensive. That's the first thing I look for. $19.99. Ninety-nine cents. So we are talking about like twenty US dollar that, and a Jamaica me there. So it has said the most powerful award-winning video editing video editor for mobile devices is now available in an early release beta for Android and Chrome OS. Now you can experience professional caliber video editing with a fluid, intuitive and natural multi touch screen and it for you see them ellips ellipsis that's how you know say it goes further i will not read further i will try to download it so i'm going to purchase it all right i don't know if there's a discount let me try it Oh, no discount on there. All right. Up here. All right, so me get one error message also. So let me see what this error is all about. All right, let me see what I want. So we will try it again and see what I want. this so me try adding another card it did not work so I am theorizing that the Samsung store may have had some problems so me now left with no other choice now but we try elsewhere finna jump to conclusion that is so what may I do you know I will test it in the Play Store. Let me see what I'm going to do. Go on with that one. Let me see what I'm going to do. Put, put that over there. So. Alright, so. There must be some app there. So, if I update. Let me see what I'm going to do. Alright. Notifications, so everything good there, so. All right. So, I'm going to see what I for this thing. You know. Hold on, let me see if I can get up this. So. All right. So, Luma Fusion. All right, so. $19.99. Ninety-nine cents, twenty dollar. We are talking about US. 
with bear in mind. Set it in a oh, plus tax. Alright, my question will go on. Installation in process. So right away, if you look up top there, you see start install. See the installing. So we realize eh, something must run over Samsung there. See there, it's ready. See the installed. See options if it open. Good. So you can see there definitely something wrong over the Galaxy store there. Watch on Samsung. Start out on yourself, you know. Yeah man. When I lose it. No so. Alright. So watch you know. Uh, the first time the whole way I use Luma Fusion right now. First, first time. So let me see what them have for you. So, so we have to open it. Hello? Watch tutorial. Alright. We can in a in a hurry for watch the tutorial. So we also need to bear in mind that this app was not originally designed for Android devices. I over Apple, I mean over Apple, so it make for. <laughs> so sorry, they claim that they sorry for we. Because we have our app like kind mass. I mean, that did not even go talk about Adobe Rush. Chapter 1 of 1. So if you watch on YouTube. All right, watch on YouTube. So here, yeah, you know, make sense. My video that part, they say if you watch on YouTube, you better me just try to do some editing and see what I want. Because here, yeah, you know, you know, YouTube have this strike business. Next, next thing me go put up, sit and watch on it, and then go, you go, yes, eh, copyright strike and all them sitting there and jeopardize the channel. So, we have a jump in at some editing. We have to try see what I want. And then a real editing we have to, we just have to test out and see. How this thing at work. So by now, if you reach a part of the video, you know we don't like your jump down there. So subscribe if you never subscribe yet. Like if you never like it. And share the channel. Yeah man, support is good. Anyway, so we have a edit with first video right now. So before we start anything, make we get familiar with some of them buttons here on your taskbar so we are called don't say a taskbar so the first thing we can identify are your scissors if you cut or split the clip this now a way to say add clip so when you click this button here now it come up with something in here so we we will cover that all right and this a multi-select that self-explanatory clipboard anything you did copy or cut you got it so if you get it back these are your presets, like your graphics or your adjustments or them something. These are now for when you go in a clip. We will cover them still. When you edit a clip, link and link. This now you can separate the sound from the clip. This you can duplicate the clip. This are your mixer. This are where you mute clip. Or when you do, what them call it something? Yeah? <laughs> your docking. You know when you talk on the music, the music volume adjusts as you speak. Yeah, and that is your header. This is now like for speed up or slow down or them thing. There. And of course, that is your project. So when you press this, it shows you what kind of project you did have. Alright? And you know, say, that's how I win in a want something, you just dash it where you rubbish bin that. Alright. Yes or no? I just. The way your thing structure, see there? I kinda, me kinda like it now, yeah, still. All right. So you know, so this, I redo, this I undo, this download the clip from up there. So after you select it from over here, so you press download and it drop down there. So we'll cover that still. All right. And of course, we're all familiar with these buttons. We're all familiar with these buttons. So you see them here, I like because the clip is downloaded to the timeline. 
All right. For import another clip or rename the clip or whatever you want to do with it, you come up with them three horizontal ellipses dots and select them. And you know, say so this now, how you go for your media, your title, your transition, and so. So now that we cover this now, we think we can start something. That's so. all. All right. So the first thing we see while we'll going is that with the panda screen as so. well. your timeline. So you click. You see, I've pressed to create your first project. So you click that. Then when you see this thing you come up now, where I say new project now, you say you can adjust your frame rate, your aspect ratio, your color spacing and all these things. We have another screen where you can do them upon just in case. And the good thing about this, you can do them individually. You see me, I say, you know, your aspect ratio, how wide you are, your screen and all these things. You see me, I say, the option... We have a ton of other options still. And I must point out, say, what I observe with this thing so far, it no drain your battery. You know, so that good. The people who make this thing I give it, them sorry for we. <laughs> who sorry for we have make this thing I give it. You know, because they know, say, we always have a battery problem. But all right. You click on that plus icon there. And it takes you for your timeline there so now so you can select your project from this so see we select a project yeah now when you select the project you can press play for ensure say that you want mm -hmm. see that once you're satisfied with it you press that download thing yeah see there download and it drop down on the timeline so when you don't pay your timeline now you can play it again and you see what i want there so so I'm going to talk about the clip right here now. You can cut the clip. Alright, it's something that on your toolbar right here. So don't, if you look down at the lower portion of the screen, you can just highlight the clip and cut it with the scissors. See, so cut, split. It's the it's same one. The most common thing. Now, you can, if you notice what just happened a while ago, you can dump that. Or you can undo it. See, you see your, your button them there? Undo and redo or back and forward, whichever way you want. Put it. See? Then, if you do the overlay you now, you see we have them thing here, you have voiceover, transition, blank clip, main title, overlay. So, we could try the overlay you now. So, the overlay you now, you can do your writing up. You're writing in it like a title. If you want to create a title from this, or you want to put some caption in it, or so. One thing we never really see, I an option for use the pen. So you can go in this or no and take out one of them fandangles the way you have there. So you can add text to the thing. You have some pre text in it, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. And you can add any one of them there. You know, you can customize. So once you click on that now, you can do a whole heap of things on the screen here so with it, a number of things. So, and it, you not only have to write, but we could write something. So we have a write now, uh, tutorial, Luma Fusion, we could write Luma Fusion. Alright, so what you can do now, you can press enter and drop that down there, so. Because we, use, we are going to use this to demonstrate the line space. Alright, so once you put that down there, so now, you have a whole heap of things where you can do for adjust it. You can adjust the opacity, you know, how blurry you want that are transparency. You can adjust the size, you can align it, you know, there's something in Microsoft Words, you can align the text. And you can adjust your line spacing. See it? Put it wherever you want it. Alright. So, you can change the color it. It's a whole heap of color. And you must note, so once you're done with it, you press the arrow there for exit. See it? Good. 
oneself bring up that. And you have the opacity for the, for the, for the color too. Watch how we press the arrow back again to select green. Uh, select or blue or purple. That's how can I color that? Good. And you can adjust that same way. Then you can adjust the width of the, width of the shadow. Because you can add like a shadow to it, you know. You know them style, style thing there. Yeah. You can do a whole heap of thing with it, man. You see, you can, you can have a different layer, I think, you know, shadow color. And you can bring it in or bring it, move it away. Distance. You can blur some of it. And just a blur. Then center. That, this is how you address it on the screen. Which part you want the text? If you go, you can also use the cursor, you, use your finger to move it around on the screen. A tablet, you know, touch screen in a modern day. I remember this is Galaxy Tab S6. You can rotate it. You can scale it. You know, this is the crapping part where you crap. You know, make it big. So you, you notice you have scale X and scale Y. Yeah. So scale X adjust the width. Scale Y adjust the height. See that? And then now So if you want to insert an image and you don't want to do write in, you click on that something there. You see that little eye icon there? You just click it and you notice the writing gone. So after you do that now, you know you can go up at the top, you can click on the little thing there again. And when you look now, you see you can add more text, you can add shape. So we add a shape. You can add all pictures too. You know, if you look back on it. So we're going to use a shape now. So, so we put one arrow there. Just like what you do with the text, you can change the color of the arrow, you can adjust it on the screen, you can adjust the size of the arrow. The same way how we do the text a while ago. So, we could look back through it again. We can change the color. Click back the X. You can adjust the opacity of it, as we talk about how transparent that, that might be. And then now them like a shadow thing there on it. You can create a little shadow and them thing there on it. See we are your edge color. Just the same. The width. Are your, your edge color. Just the same. The width are your shadow color and and, and which part part you are just like the text. As we say. So based upon where you watch a while ago. This and are nothing new. The only difference is that you do it with one, with one image or a shape. Same thing. I think in here so, I way you do the picture in picture. We never really test that. We never really test that out. That's a fair different video. And as you say, we just have learned it. So, you know, but all of this way I see right here now are the same thing what we do with the text a while ago. So it just reinforced what you just learned. Just that a different thing. You know, so wherever you want your arrow for point, you just make a necessary adjustment to that. See? It a go on still. As we say, one option we see is with a right, like in a KineMaster, Master, Kind Master, or even in a Adobe Rush, you have one option for use your pen. Alright, a hey, Loma Fusion or Samsung, you know, one of the you know, so, you know. But remember, a video editing where I do. So, no matter how the foolish is. So, you can come back out by your timeline now and watch what I go on now. Once you press play, you see what I go on. You see that blue thing there up there, so I hit the overlay. See there. So, you can also cut, 
you can also chop it up or adjust it which part you want it where you want it come in so watch out now we draw back the whole timeline and play it see there so play it from start and then you see it come in boom mm. so that's how which part you want it point so you can go back in your overlay panel again and select a voice over you can as me say whole heap of things can go on so we could try the voice over now so yes or no you can record the voice with this so it takes some getting used to but it a go on you know it 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 is not as simple as kinemaster or kind master me call it but once you know it or once you learn it or you get the hang of it then you know say you're good to go all right we must also note again oh before we say before we note one of the issues we have with it is that the special features them too far you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a comparison between it and Kind Master. And we'll show you what I'm going. So we're going to have the two of them side by side for the screen. And we'll show you. Anyway, for now, we're going to breeze it here so for your next video. The next video, I'm going to be a comparison between it and Kind Master. We're going to talk about one in depth one. So for now, you can just go and play around with it. Well, it crashed for me. It crashed for me one time. Kind master never crashed yet. So me, I take it say, because this thing ya, all is a tab six where I use it pan. So we can't to beat beat them for that yet. Until me upgrade. All right. So what you know? If you feel say you learn nothing from this video, you don't know. Do the right thing. Until next time, peace out.